Well, hello there. Let's have a look. Yeah, see, I want to reduce the angle on that a little bit. I'll take in, uh, take a diamond easy lap here. Yeah. Then I just take and put a little radius on it. Kind of like you're working high speed steel, but this is done. I mean, carbide with a diamond stone instead of uh, high speed steel with a uh, regular abrasive. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, just want to break that tip a little bit. I like to use these tools um, on stuff just hanging out of the chuck because. Uh, it uh, for finish cuts because it less deflection. Yeah, I uh, got editing <laughs> working again. I uh, found um, I could use the same equipment. It's just uh, um, the computers get cluttered up with stuff that you wouldn't expect, and I had to learn how to uh, clear it out. It is cold outside and the heater just came on. Okay. I'll have to show you my setup here. Now, <laughs> the generation before me did this. And what this is, is a tool post grinder set up on an old style tool and cutter grinder that does not have a tilt head. So <laughs> we go around to the back and take a look at it. It's independent from this spindle here. You see? Yeah. So you can uh, mount a tool post grinder on a tool and cutter grinder. <laughs> so I'm making use of the uh, uh, all tool grinding fixture and uh, they work so well uh, it's going to probably be on here most of the time. This is a 5C collet fixture and uh, I have a 1 inch collet holding on to a vise here and what else I got there right where to go down here I'll get it And I can slip a V-block in there and grind boring bars and things like that. So that's going to work pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to go over uh, to the other side of the shop, which is a car, and I'll be back. This is uh, my last really terrible corner. <laughs> And I'm going to figure some things out here and tear this all apart. But uh, this is one really great thing I did. Is uh, I found this, uh, this is some stuff out of Rob's shop. And uh, so I made this arm that swings the old Fordham around. And uh, I'm going to reinforce a little bit of extruded al aluminum. But check this out. It slides out even further but I can put a piece of aluminum <laughs> so that took care of the Fordham tool which I find really handy they're uh, real nice and quiet you know not like uh, those little dremels that scream so anyway this is I'm going to get this fixed up over here and uh, I think it'll be a lot better. <laughs> so this is uh, how messy it is in here now. I'm I gotta make a uh, bolt for this. I uh, made this mount here for that uh, collet closer, that front mount collet closer, which works real good. And I got a bolt from my. Uh, hold down set for the milling machine and I want to make a square bolt like this. Then I can use uh, 
uh, that type of wrench on there, on there, and on there. Well, I'll tell you something on an axle thing. You don't want to take that clear out, especially on these early ones. And maybe they fixed it a little later on. If you take that clear out, the nut will fall off, and you have to take the apron off to get the nut back on. That's my tip for the morning. <laughs> I hope you all have a good day. And uh, I'll probably click the camera on here and there. i got to make that bolt. That might be fun to use the old... Uh, uh, horizontal milling machine and uh, okay I will be back I gotta wait a little while to turn things on it's still a little bit uh, early here and uh, I think the equipment kind of shakes the ground a little bit okay hey one more thing you know people ask me about these Monarch 10 double uh, E lathes and uh, I think most everything on the uh, famous auction site is uh, pretty pretty bad scam and uh, it's really easy to get scammed on these things and there's a bunch of cutthroats involved in them. Now if, you, if you're thinking of buying a machine or something you might uh, think of sending me a picture or something like that. I like looking at them and I'll give you the best opinion I can looking at uh, a photo and I can tell you uh, with some, a few photos of what drive system it should have in it or something like that. So if you're uh, thinking of uh, really throwing out some money or on one of these, you, you can get a hold of me through uh, my homepage. There'll be an email there if you poke around enough. Okay, these are mighty fine machines. You have a good one. Come on, you guys.